This is the Talos Principle. That's right, I'm finally doing something other than failing at the Binding of Isaac. Uh, so, this video should be significantly shorter than the Isaac ones, provided I remember to break them up properly, <laughs> which is a uh, very real possibility I'll forget to do that. But, let's assume that I am as slightly less incompetent than I'm hoping I am. This is the Talos Principle. It is by the developers who made Serious Sam, for those who are familiar with that game which is a uh, runny, shooty, blowy, thingy, zuffy kind of game. The Talos Principle is a philosophical puzzle game. So, nothing like that. <laughs> so, you know what, let's, let's just get started. Full disclosure, I have played this game before. Full disclosure, that was about three years ago. So there's a good chance I've forgotten all the solutions to all of the puzzles, but exactly what you want. You want to... See, so that's why there's a continue button there. But, we're going to start from the beginning. Does mean I know what the story is on this, for the most part. Um, that shouldn't affect it too much, because I just won't talk about the story till we get to it. I don't know. Initialising firmware. You don't need me to read this out, I'm sure. This is all just... Robot stuff is happening. It's, uh... Yeah, you play as a robot. I should, uh, should, stress. should specify that. Starting child process. But... That's, that's basically all we know at this point, is computers exist. And look, there's my little robot arm. I say little, it's presumably the same size as anyone else's arm. I mean, just look at this place. This is so much nicer compared to the Binding of Isaac. I mean... Behold, child. Oh. You Speech. are risen from the dust, dust. And you walk in my garden. I don't like Hear now like my voice. And know that I am your maker. Hello, maker. And I am called Elohim. Oh, so you've called yourself God. My Hi, God. If you are worthy. If I am worthy. Of course I'm worthy. I'm Dark Lord Kaiser, damn it. We should check that you're worthy of my presence, not the other way around. So, yes. This is where you start. On a sort of... Is that table? Is more of an altar? Which... Sort of fits into the uh, religious themes of the game. Wait a minute. God damn it! <laughs> Binding of Isaac was loosely based on, you know, religious stories. This one, we've got a guy literally talking from above, calling himself God. I'm starting to build a bit of a theme here, aren't I? <laughs> Let's some child program. Logic check. Okay, we're just doing a test run. Hey, here's a thing. Oh, I can't go through the thing. Oh, look, here's another thing. I can pick up the thing. It is happy with the fact that I'm capable of picking things up. Oh look, now it opens that. Jammer jams things. Fairly straightforward. Okay, uh, these purple bits, I don't know if we're going to come across this soon, but essentially it means I can't take any items through it. It's just a reset. Oh look, it's a ball. I wonder if it'll be friendly. Guess it wasn't. Correcting for errors. So yeah, that's how it sort of does the uh, reliving. The uh, multiple lives bit in here, it just goes, yeah, it didn't work, try again. So we can see a little uh, turret up there. Don't want to mess with that, don't want to mess with the flying line. I wonder what we could possibly, oh wait, we've got a thing. Stop it. So, this thing will turn and look at me when I get close, hence the little red laser of doom. But we can jam that too. These jammers just... Anything and everything, it's just a great big no. <laughs> Always worth running around looking around uh, this kind of game. There's lots of little pickups, and some of the story you will only get through finding and picking things up. Um, here's the ladder. Go up the ladder, we can get back over here. I think that's a just in case you manage to completely bug yourself up somehow, you can get back over here. Not quite sure how one would go about buggering oneself up at this early in the game to the point you have to go back over that ladder, but let's not try and find out, shall we? Ooh, a code. I don't know where I am, but there is something beautiful about this place. I'll explore and see what I can discover. I agree, this is a very, very beautiful place. 
That's just kind of the point. <laughs> Say, no, Across it this land, off. I have oh. created trials for you to overcome. That was nice of you. And within each, I have hidden a sigil. No, you haven't. You've hidden it. It is your purpose okay, to that. seek these sigils, for thus you will serve the generations to come and attain eternal life. Nice. But I'm a robot, so I already have a eternal life. So I've kind of got your beat on that one, God. Um, yeah, I was about to spoil what these sigils are, but, you yeah, know, we'll deal with that later. Okay, it looks like there's something written on that, but... It's a, it's faded, and B, I don't speak Latin. I, I, well, I know bits and pieces, but that's more through, you know, the fact that we use them in regular <laughs> language rather than knowing the language itself. Okay. So we've sort of got a Latin, ancient Greek sort of theme going on here. It's very pretty. Uh, is there anything to explore around here? Any more QR codes? QR code um, messages are always worth keeping an eye out for. Sort of hints at uh, a bigger part of the plot. So, as you can see, this is what we're looking for. Straight line piece and yellow piece. God has got us playing Tetris, apparently. So, if you look in the top left corner, next to the little green door symbol, you've got the three Tetris pieces we need to find. And those three Tetris pieces are here as well. So, let's go for a wander, shall we? Yellow, green, or I think straight line, sort of there, somewhere. So let's just go over here, this is where I'm close to. So, round around we go. So, let's find L block. Well, backwards L block, sorry. Only the two of us. So the, uh, the titles tend to give you the, uh, the best hint about what we need to do. So I can jam that from here. That won't be very useful because I won't be able to get over to it, but it's useful to know what we can do with this game. I just want to saw something up there for a minute, then never mind. So, yeah, the best, in my experience, the best way of playing this game is to look around, find all the puzzle pieces first, and then see what the, the solution will usually become pretty apparent once you've found all the pieces. Uh, though sometimes your own thought process can get in the way. It's one of those things where you'll uh, you'll come across a puzzle. Oh, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> I didn't want to do that. Jam the one that's already been jammed, so I can get the one that was doing the jamming over here. So I can open that. I can take this, so I can jam Captain Shooty up there because we don't like Captain Shooty. Well, we might like Captain Shooty. Captain Shooty, not a big fan of us. Get me peace. Hello, him get a yell at me. No. Nope. The shapes you oh, are yeah, creating are not mere toys. They are the sigils of our name. Each brings you closer to eternity. What oh, they're toys? They're Tetris pieces. You know it, I know it, the viewers at home know it. Move faster by all ah uh, yeah. Keep <laughs> I can run. I knew I could run, but a little test a minute ago to check all the buttons. And then immediately forgot I had a run function. So this is telling me that there are three pieces over here. Interestingly, to get through here I only need those three. But I think that is telling me that these pieces can be found through the... It makes sense as you go along. Basically, if I just go everywhere, solve every puzzle I can, I'll be fine. A switch out of reach. Okay. I'm guessing it's talking about that switch that's out of reach. That's a shooty, get a shooty, don't want to mess with the shooty thing. But we have a jammer. Um, they've got lots of little nooks and crannies like this. It's usually worth looking around to either find collectibles or QR codes. The QR codes, I don't think they give hints, but they do sort of flavour the, uh, the actions of what's going on. Sort of the world building stuff, basically. Okay. Switch out of reach. It's completely within my reach. Look, I reached it. There. So that switch is connected to Captain Shooty up there, which means I don't need me jammer pointing at him anymore. Come here. Uh, and then we've got explodey thing. Stupid mine. Yep. Uh, oh, Bit of a pop in there, columns. Okay. And click. Yeah. Got well done, seconds. child. Only Cheers, one God. more sigil is needed. 
do. Yeah. Thought the grammar might have been a bit off for a second there, but uh, no, no, God had it right. Which, you know, is his job to be right. Outnumbered. For an L play, peace. Okay, shooty and bangy. You know, I get the sort of artistic theme they're going for here, but has every single statue had its head blasted off and its arms knocked off? Because, I mean, you know, one or two you'd think through through weathering, which is, you know, what they're sort of going for here. But every single one is, that's deliberate. Uh, yeah, nothing through here. That being said, this is one of those things where, as you're going around, it kind of becomes evident that uh, that none of this is real in the first place. Though, so, yeah, we'll, we'll get to that later. So, anyway. Then let's find all the puzzle pieces. There's one. Oop. Anything else back here? No. So, I can... Oh. Right, that's useful to know. As you can see, he's bouncing off this, but he is trying to go further. Now, if I block that and come over here, then I'm going to have to deal with this thing. Whereas if I jam that, it come through here, then take the jammer, I can just wander off. If I can jam it from here, why not? That may turn out to be a mistake. I may have to run back and rectify that later, but as you can see, now he's on the other side of that, and he can't get me. He, she, or it, I suppose. I don't know what I'm referring to everything as male. But then I get this piece, which opens the door. And now we've got all the pieces. My temple awaits you, child. Go Oops. forth. Oh. Yes, I suspect I'm going to accidentally bring this screen up a lot, because it's currently mapped to the B button on my uh, little controller. It's such a common button that I tend to accidentally mistake it for run or something. Hmm, interesting. There appear to be more uh, puzzles than I have places to put them. I went to point at the top left corner then, but yeah, it moved the entire screen, so... My child, the you do not need to collect all sigils at once. Do I not? You are free to return to this place whenever you choose. And I choose now, damn it. Okay. Do, do, do. We have to do this one sneaky style. I say sneaky style, we have to wait until we go past and then sprint past this. Do, 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 do. Why am I sound like the Spider Man theme? Now, if I jam it, I can run past it without fear of explosions, but I'm fairly sure I'm going to need it for stuff. Get that guy out of the way, get this thing open, bam. It's every single statue has his head taken off. It's not like they're the same statue either, these are clearly intended to be different, different models, and someone's just come along going, nope, decapitate, and decapitate. Alrighty. Boop. Jam that, just so get past it again. <laughs> Wouldn't want to go all my sigils like this, only to then be blown up by an angry mine. Okay. So it is nice that it does put a little X on the uh, ones when you've completed them. So I'm not going to accidentally <laughs> go over everything. He's even got it at this point here, so I know I don't need to go into that area at all. So that one's done. Let's go get yellow piece. Peephole. Hmm. Seems to be... So obviously I can't take it through this purple bit, so I'm going to have to jam from over there. By jamming it from this side, that means I can get this thing. I won't have any further use through here. That's where I can jam that. Actually... Be better off laying, letting this come closer. Oh, I can jam that from all the way over here. Wow, there's a hell of a range on these things. Let's see. Go. Hey, you do your thing over there. I can jam you twice. Yeah, there we go. Round, collect. Uh, you are most diligent. 
Perhaps this trait will serve you well in times to come. Well, you're the apparently omnipotent being. You tell me whether it'll be useful. Okay. Right then. Oops, not that way. Now, as much as I like this game, I like all these puzzles, I like going through and, you know, not being held up too much by the... Cause you can always come back to these puzzles later for the most part if you do get stuck. What I don't like is what you have to do to progress using the puzzle pieces you collect. I don't like this sort of mini-game. It's not hard at this point. Well, particularly when, not when it's giving you the answers like that. Hey, put a slot them in. Uh, what I don't like is that there isn't an obvious logic to how to put these things together. If you put the pieces in the wrong place, you just have to go through by trial and error until you find the right solution. I haven't figured out a logic for how to work this out rather than just sitting there for however. Because when you've got three pieces, it's fine. When you've got ten pieces, then obviously there's a lot of variations you can do to get the pieces together. What do you say then? My eyes have been opened. This world is not without order. It is shaped by a great design. Yeah, he keeps speaking to us. He calls him Elohim. Uh, with signs and portents to guide my steps, I'm one of his children, and challenges are set before me to test my faith. We really thought it more like a test of logic than a test of faith at this point, but well, we'll see. What do you say? Whatever the end goal of this grand challenge is, it's far out of reach. Knowing that, how are we supposed to resist distraction? Well, I mean, it, there's not much else to do aside from solve the puzzle, so that's... Unless you're going to stand here and smell flowers, but A, you're a robot, you don't have a sense of smell, and B, they're not real flowers. This is a simulation. As I've said, we'll get to that a bit later. Oh, I thought something on my screen then. It's not, it's the, uh, the lens flares coming from whatever the hell that is down there. It's an eye. Hello, eye. So yes, I described this as a philosophical uh, puzzle game. This is kind of where the philo philosophy bit comes in. In these, well, we'll just load it. There we go. So, sometimes when you go onto this thing, something that uh, is on the other end talks back to you. Let's say hi. This is not talking back to me, this is just a helpful, friendly assistant. Okay, what's this? Yeah, yeah, I'll get that. Hold on time. All of the things. Yeah, yeah. Hello, world. Dear. Fine, we'll press help. Okay, so, yeah, typing commands gives us more commands. Typing those commands in, we obviously make responses to go with that. So, we've got available resources, we've got. We don't have any. Don't have any. Well, let's just go through them one at a time. What's welcome? Okay. I'm not going to read these out. I mean, there's quite a lot of text to them, and if I read them out, we'll be here for days. So, we'll go through all this and see what we get. Uh, so, what is worth taking from this is the situation is grim. Something in the background is not happy. Athena. Athena, the Garden of Ar Hes Hesperides? Hesperides? I don't know Greek, uh, Greek names very much. That's just a, basically a story. Skim that. Yeah, not very young. So, figure it out, dot Emily. Okay, so saying there's no explicit. Uh... Oh, right, we're back there. Again. Let's run Milton. Milton Library Assistant. So this should then... Uh, hello, guess How can I help you? I'll read his out because I like him. Uh, as of an hour. Query. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Understand is a strong way to put it, but yes. What was the first word of the last sentence you wrote? Okay, so it's, it's not the most complicated thing in the world. Are you able to take offence, you pointless contraption? <laughs> you 
You cannot insult me. I can. I mean, I may not do anything, but I can definitely do it. Describe your purpose, machine. The Milton Library System is designed primarily to sort and classify data in the library archive. Secondly, facilitates user interaction with library resources via an intuitive human language interface. It also provides helpful networking and troubleshooting functions. Your query. Okay. How old are the library archives? from 1st of July 95 to 27th of June 2030 something. What are these terminals? Terminals require access to... Okay, that doesn't help. It's just a library machine. Okay. How long has this system been running? Been active for 9999E years. Helpful computer, thanks. What is the current status of the library archive? That's a lot of resources. 47 million of little buckets. So it can store the entire internet of 2003. There you go. So it's got 47 million resources. Uh, 5.42 petabytes of disk space. And only 10.7 gigabytes of those are uh, available to us. Tan plastic. Why is so much corrupted? Just a time problem. It's been running for so much time that, you know, it's lost a lot of the data. So that's... We sort of have to fill in the holes that we can't seem to get from those corruptions with what we can find left. Hey, you cruise on the outside world. My is limited to the data in the library archive. You can ask about the topics. My responses may be limited. Who is Elohim? Elohim is the narrow god or gods in modern ancient Hebrew. Well, we figured that out by the fact that he keeps talking to us from the sky. What am I? You're logged in with a guest account. <laughs> well, that might be true. That's not helpful, is it? Where am I? Currently in the support section. MLA, the human language interface module. Your library archive system may be reading any query. Whatever. So, I think we've covered everything. I'll press help again, see what turns up. Same options again. So help will just take us back to this over and over again. Right, that'll do. Okay. New text server. Okay, so, all those emails we just read are here. So, I don't think I need to look at them too much for now. Did I hear something? I'm hearing a thing. What's going on? Step into the light, child, and my temple will be revealed to you. Well, isn't that nice? Thinking that noise I heard probably came from over there. Well, it's been roughly 20 minutes. So I think we'll call that an episode. So, next time, we'll leave you with this cliffhanger. Will I step into the light? Or, will I go do more puzzles? You'll have to wait till next time to find out then. Bye.